Hey everybody, this is Cappy Smack coming to you from Vega Conflict early in the morning because I'm ready to take my first Guardian out of the ship factory! 421 coins, that's about four bucks. Four dollars and twenty-one cents. Well, I'm gonna take it out a day early. Ship completed. That's what four dollars looks like. Happy sound. And now we're gonna try to plug it in. Where can we plug it in? Fleet bonus right now is plus point eight three percent shields. And let's try to plug this bad boy in and see how big it is. It's 7,000 more tons than I can use right now, so we're going to have to move it around. Which of these two do I keep? I let that one go. And bring the Guardian back in. I'm at an awkward place with my fleet bay. But that's why it's being upgraded. And here we are. I literally don't have anything at 7,000 tons that I can actually use. That's 11,000. Those are all 11,000. That's awkward. But that's why they did it. So what's my fleet bonus right now? 5.83% shields as a bonus. Max shield health, five, almost 6% more shields, and that comes from one Guardian. So now we're going to take this bad boy out, and then drop my fleet level down by one. Alright, not sure if I understand that. We're going to take this bad boy out and see what it can do, and compare it with uh, what I had before. Meanwhile, I'm going to start me another Guardian. Because that's just the way I have to rock and roll. So what would I do different on this one? That's the question. Would I do anything different on this one? I would think I might not do anything different. But we're going to find out. Would I do anything different? Well, let me see. What do we have for weapons? Can I make a different choice? I think before I do that, I'm going to take the ship out and see what it can do so I'm not tying up my fleet factory needlessly and frustrating myself. So we are in the middle of Sector Strike. I've got 2.4 million points. My sweet spot on this one is hitting anything up to and including but not over a level 45 Demon Core fleet because then I can fill up the handy dandy little bar down here that lets you get 50,000 extra points and by the time that's done I've got about um, 30 minutes worth of repair time which is not bad don't spend coins just let it repair take a break chill for 30 minutes come back and kill some more and that's my sweet spot and now we're going to find out how it compares with that guardian that I just plugged in and the harmonic bonuses is it worth anything now what we have coming up at the end of the day today is an alien mobilization we're gonna kill aliens Reapers small ones we're gonna find out how good it works and uh, the thing we're doing up for this for is crafting materials that's it I've got everything else I've got the rest of these ships all we have is crafting materials. That's why we're going to do this alien mobilization. That's why I'm not going to spend coins. Because there's no reason to spend coins on this. Kill small reapers. Come back for repair. Do that over and over. Until I go blind. Sector. So now we're going to kill some demon core division fleets and let's just beat on this 45 and take a look at what the combat is like Sector space confirmed. you're gonna see this live and in living color actually you're gonna see it Fire on YouTube 
I don't like to be over the top of other people when I do my thing, so let's find another thing I can do. Let's find another thing I can do without killing my fleet. Same kind of thing I was doing before for comparison. Just so we can see my fleets in action. And I need resources so I don't want to be too far away from home. Well, there's a level 40. We have a target. So, let's check out the combat. Let the AI do its thing. Let's see what this Guardian can do with its pulse cannon. This guy is a Guardian, this guy is a Punisher, and this guy is a Paladin. Paladin's kicking ass. I would say the pulse cannon does good work. Waiting on you. Pulse cannon does good work. But now let's uh let's just see. I've been hitting 45s and 37s and Report. we're going to keep doing that. Standing by. This is going to be a long video because I want to see this Guardian in action and compare it with what was happening. So we're going to fill up that uh, little bar so I can defend my base for extra points. And once again, this is the Punisher and this is the Guardian. Pulse cannons don't really fire that long, but it is extra firepower. And the pulse cannons do have a uh, nice penetration. My girlfriend used to tell me that too. Honey, you got nice penetration. Waiting on you. So let's see. Where's my bar at? See that bar right down there? It's starting to fill up. It don't look like much now. And it won't be much more exciting then, but we have to do it. We have no choice. I hear you. It's what we do in this game. Uh, let's just kill 35, get it out of the way. We're not going to watch the 35 die because it's going to go up and smoke pretty fast. I'm going to keep my eye on this 40 over here because I want to kill it next. I actually thought it would take a lot less time to kill that five, and now it's dead. Awesome. So now I'm going to come down here and grab this 40, pick up my resources, head back with my resources, let everybody else have that. Start them on the 40. Let my resources go back to base. And as that's happening, 
Robinson Seth get my resource gathering fleet, hauler fleet back out here like right away. Get him the command to get out here and let's watch what happens with this. So at range the Punisher is identical to the uh, Guardian. Because they both have identical weapons at range, but once they get close up and personal, then the Guardian will open up with its uh, pulse cannons. Destination. Right away. Reporting. Loading cargo. And this is literally what I do. Calling. This is my life in the game. Waiting for orders. So let us see. Where is my next target? And you can see this bar starting to fill. Oh, there's a 45. Copy that. We have a target. Standing ready. Leaving orbit. Waiting on you. So this is a 45. Guardian. Punisher. Guardian's on the right. <laughs> Punisher on the left. Guardian is number two. Punisher is number one. And they've got identical firepower pretty, pretty close. Within 5%. See there, pulse cannons. Two hits from the pulse cannon finished off that one ship. And the paladin killed that other ship, so. The paladin definitely Copy kicks that. butt. Reporting in. Collecting cargo. Where to? Charging ready. No more cargo. Standing ready. And you can see I've got uh, another eight and a half days, yeah, about that, eight and a half days of upgrade time for my fleet bay, and I can have bigger fleets than a level 75. And so far you can see I'm still at 100%. So right now if I went back for a repair it would be a zero cost repair. Your orders, copy that. Online, retrieving cargo. Well, I'm going to fill that little bar down there and check it out and see how much repair time cargo I've got at the capacity. end. Because that's what I've been doing. Waiting for orders. Oh, there's level 40. Let's move. Fire at will. You can see where Mbar is, see? Now it's almost half full. Fills up pretty fast. Roger. I think it's important to see this ship in action that, you know, so far, this fleet has taken almost a month to build between the Paladin and the, and, the, and the Guardian. 18 days for the Paladin. 8 days for the Guardian. That's like 26 days, just for two ships. Now you might be wondering why I'm not going after much bigger fleets. Because they would do a lot more damage and it's not going to be a fair test. So I'm testing apples to apples and oranges to oranges at this point. We have a target. Where my control is the level 76 
without the Guardian and Punishers, two Punishers and a Paladin, compared to Punisher, Guardian, Paladin, and we're going to check out and see what, the, what that does. Waiting on you, Orbit. So you're almost halfway full. I don't always watch the combat, but we're doing this for the video. You see, now I'm at 99%. And 99% would typically be a one coin repair. So it's, it's on par. The extra fleet bonus doesn't really do a whole lot. But it is an extra 6% shield health. And I imagine if I had if I had five guardians and a paladin, that would probably be 20%. I got a 5% boost on one guardian. Four more guardians would be another 20%, so it'd be about 25% boost on shield health. I'd be happier if the harmonic bonus was more firepower. And the Guardian is a better Punisher. There's no getting around that. And once we're done filling this bar, I will compare the uh, Guardian's repair time to the Punisher's repair time. Just so we can see that. Reporting in. Retrieving cargo. Cargo depleted. Your orders. Let's see if I can get me another 35 or 37. Reporting. Affirmative. That's affirmative. Standing by. You can see the Paladin has a, for an extra 200 DPS, it does have better squadrons than what I was using before in the Domination. And you can see those squadrons, you know, kill three or four ships. When you compare Xeno ships to Axis ships, Waiting on you. what you're really getting is about 50% more health on your ship and 20% more shields. So, I mean, is it worth it? Fire at will. I'd say yes. The reason why I don't have four pulse cannons is that would make the, the guardians vulnerable Roger. to squadrons. And where to? Disintegrator cannons will take out squadrons. Pulse cannons won't. And what you don't want on these fleets is you don't want ships that have a weakness.
And you can see these Demon Core ships really don't have the ability to kill any of my squadrons. And I'm still at 99% health on my fleet. Bar is almost three fourths. Charging weapons online. Collecting cargo. No more cargo. And I'm collecting cargo so that I can build another guardian. Waiting for orders. As you can see, I'm filling up these three bars. Well, two of them are already filled, so I'm just gathering antimatter. So two thirds of what I'm taking back is thrown away. And it's just putting in, you know, a million, million and a half worth of uh, antimatter every time I send that fleet back with resources. See that? You just saw where the Punisher and the Guardian were taken out. Enemy squadrons. Copy that. Reporting in. Retrieving cargo. Not super fast because they're not suppressors. Recalling. Your orders. Let's see, where's my next target? Weapons free. Gotta command my hauler. We're gonna wait a little bit. Standing ready. Leaving orbit. Still at 99% health on my fleet. About three fourths, a little more than three fourths on that bar. I hear you. Roger. Loading cargo. Cargo at capacity. Roger. Online. Returning. Where to? Oh, another 45. Lock and load. Reporting in. So am I happy with uh, having spent all that money and time and energy trying to get to this point? Well, yeah. You're gonna play the game. Gotta play the game. It would have taken me probably four months to get to this point otherwise. Up, ninety-eight percent now. Your orders. Fire at will. Reporting. Collecting cargo. Don't really see any other players around. The other day I was getting, you know, harassed by some guy who just wanted repair time. So he had he had uh, three destroyers trying to go after my hauler fleet, and then he found out that my haulers actually have weapons, and he lost his fleet. Which those three Komodos, I think they were, probably cost him. I don't know, eight, eight hours of repair time? I 
I didn't see him again after that, and that was the third time he, he jumped me. It happens once in a while. Maserful. Doesn't happen a lot. Every once in a while. Retrieving cargo. Waiting for orders. On my way. Up. Oh, bar's full. See that? Defend base. All right. So this is the last kill before I take it back. I sometimes don't check and then miss it. Online. The holds are full. Roger. So I'll take it back for a pair after this. Let's watch the action. Watch the, shot, the final ship dive. Got 2% damage to my fleet. Returning to base. Let's see if I can pick up the resources. Reporting. Bet I can't. It's going to be too long. Loading cargo. Leaving orbit. You get 60 seconds before your resources at a left line after a kill disappear. I mean, that's going to be real close. Yep. Returning. Alright, let's recover that fleet. I've got 2.518 million intel. So every time I fill a bar, I get another 100k, plus 50k for defending my base. base. Let's just watch that. Where to? See, that's 22 minutes. So, that compares to about 6 minutes less. That would have been 28, sometimes 33 minutes. So 6 minutes less out of 28 ends up being, um, what, 25%? Let's see, um, 6 divided by 28, 21%. 5% more shields for 20% less damage. That's the comparison right there. Now, uh, if you take a look at, uh, can't really take a look at my fleet stats because we are repairing. And it's not going to tell me how much repair time I've got on each. But you can see that uh, I've got 944 DPS in my Guardian. For a six hour repair time, compared to 984 DPS on that Punisher, and it's got a three hour repair time. So if if I run up against a more powerful player or run up against a more powerful uh, you know, NPC, this one Guardian's gonna take six hours repair time. Now if I had five Guardians, that'd be 30 hours. Plus the Paladin, which is another three, That'd be 33 hours and some change to repair the whole fleet if it were destroyed. That's 33 hours of doing nothing. But as it is, this would be 20, you know, 22 minutes. Actually, minus 9 minutes if I want to spend one coin, which would be 12 minutes. You know, 13 minutes. Or it would be uh, 17 minutes if I want to spend no coins. And I'm not going to watch it repair. Don't need to do that. That is basically the video. I'm going to start another Guardian while I'm on here. And you can see my fleet bay has got 
8 days and 17 hours before it'll be upgraded and I can have more ships in that level 75 fleet. But for now we're going to start up another Guardian. And I think what I'm going to do, I don't really have any fleet, I don't have any ma more mass in the ship, so I was going to put another uh, shield in, but I really can't. Or another another armor. So I think this is uh, where I am. Now, if, let me just toy around with this a little bit and see what my options are. Um, heavy Seeker missiles for 153 versus Pulse Cannon. Yeah, Pulse Cannon is better. 3,500, yeah, well, a little more range, I'm not going to do that. I do have the Xeno Shatter Driver, which would give me a lot more range. So I think I'm going to put Shatter Drivers in now. See that? Can't, can't put Shatter Drivers in because they are much bigger. And I don't have enough uh, mass on this ship. I could strip off some armor. I really don't want to do that. What I did want to do is check out what it would be for... Let's put that... Let's put in a one pulse cannon. I dropped my DPS by 5%. Now I'm just toying around with, with, you know, build variations. And then if I went with Shatter Driver... Yeah, I really can't do that either. But let's check out Rupture Beam 1. That is an option. Yeah, see that uh, is not desirable. Two Rupture Beams means I can't uh, can't build it. Mass is too high. Okay. And if we strip this guy out, then uh, alright. So 2% less DPS and 11% less health. And the difference is Rupture Beam is 4,000 compared with uh, Disintegrator Cannons, which would be 4,250, 246 DPS compared with 284 DPS. So less range, more DPS. And Pulse Cannons with 180 DPS versus 226, so, you know, less DPS, a bit more range. Doesn't seem like a great idea. I did want to see what the rupture beams would be, but what would I be doing if I wanted to bring my DPS up? Now it's 3% more. That's 8% more. I could strip off some armor. So if I took 24% armor off for 8% more DPS, again, this does not seem like a great idea. Do spectral armor. What's that going to do for me? Spectral armor is uh, spectral armor is for energy. Shockwave armor is for uh, explosive. Deflector armor seems like a better thing. I could throw a little deflector armor on. So my, my chip mass is getting up there, so I really can't uh, do much more than that. And tungsten armor is good for uh, reducing mass. I 
584 mass for 2636. Five thirty-four mass for seventeen thirty. I could go Talonite rather than tungsten. Mm. Talonite rather than tungsten doesn't really help. Make it more of a glass cannon. I'm not terribly impressed with my choice so far, but... I think I might build this one and see. It's got, uh... Appears to have pretty good. Really, it would have a, a full amount of protection from uh, explosive and a full amount of protection from energy. That uh, seems like a not so terrible way to go. Now, I just want to check out some of my other choices. Telonite is fairly heavy. 534 for 1735. 534, what's comparable? Well, I could reduce my armor. I really don't want to do that. And there really are no other good choices. Even Xenthium is a lot less health. So, uh, Deflector, Shockwave, Spectral. I don't have Spectral on here. What does that do to me? That sends me over the top. That would give me all three resistances. And it might be worth taking out one of these Talonites. So that's 26% less. So I've mitigated my health loss. But I've got more resists. I'm starting to like this one. And what do I have for resistors? I don't have any. I guess I could buy a resistor and put a little more, uh, a little more resist in, just to see if I can resist a little more uh, projectile damage. Yeah, I think I might do that. Let's just put that aside. Can I buy a resistor? Credits. Projectile resist. Projectile resist two. Yes, I can. I'm going to buy one of these. Go back to my ship factory. See if I can add a resistor. And that puts me over the top. Wouldn't you know it? Actually, that doesn't really... See, it gives me about 20% uh, projectile resist. Alright, so if I'm going to do that, then I'm going to have to go Xenthium all the way. And... Uh, now I'm only 4% less health. That's not terrible. That's 6% and it's not really helping. Alright, so that's the balance. 8% less health. Alright, I'm, I'm liking this.
Yeah, I like it. Alright, so... I was misreading my dials here. I've got, uh... I've got just a little bit of explosive resist. Just a little bit of energy resist. About 20% projectile resist. And about uh, 20% resist on plasma damage, which I would get from doing Ancient Reapers, which I might try. And uh, about 50% alien resist. And 3% harmonic shield. Now, what would happen if I went bigger shields? I do have the harmonic shield 2, and the difference is about 200, a little more than 200 uh, mass, ship mass, 772 versus 965. I could go more harmonic shields and boost that up. So now I got 56% more shields, and then I have to reduce my armor. Uh, Zymphium 3 is 210 for 760. 210. Uh, 130 for 495. So it's going to be Zymphium 2. Still not enough. That's 12%. That's 14%. And this is starting to look pathetic. It doesn't look like I can reduce my armor enough. Alright, so now we go back and swap one of these. Go back. To Xenthium. Trying to find a sweet spot. So it's looking like 19% uh, more shields. Trying to balance it. 19% shields, 14% armor loss. Twelve percent armor, nineteen percent more shields. And there's the tipping point. So nineteen percent more shields, twelve percent less armor, and ten percent more DPS. Nine forty four versus ten twenty, not quite a hundred more DPS. Um, is it worth it? We're gonna find out. It's eleven day build. See that? 11 days to build this sucker. I guess we're going to find out if this is worth it. That's the only way to tell. So let's build it. And you can see it's 185 million helium-3 and 73 million antimatter. Six hour repair time. It fits in my level 75 fleet. So two days after my fleet bay is upgraded I'll fill it out with punishers probably get it up to level 80 two days after that this sh ship comes out so sometime around the 28th 29th close to the end of the month get down to the nubbies of when I'm going to be moving I'm not, I'm not going to actually be moving until the 30th 31st 31st, I'm going to hop in the car and drive to Denver. So I'll have one day to play with a much powerful fleet. Right at the end of the month. We're going to do it. That's what an 11-day Guardian build looks like. And now I'm going to defend my base. Let you see what that looks like. It's all kinds of fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
So while we watch that, I'm going to see what my other account is doing. My other account have got level 29 fleets. Not spending any coins. Just something to do. As we watch a level 59 fleet get killed by my base, this is an NPC fleet. This is for an extra 50k thereabouts intel. Yep, that's about what you expected to see. 49,320 intel. So now I've got 2.568 million. And we're going to call that the uh, video right there. It's kind of a long video, but I think it was interesting. What we learned from the Axis ships is mainly you're going to get more, you're going to get more shields. About 20% more shields on a full fleet of uh, five or six Axis ships. And the firepower is going to go up about, uh, about 10% more firepower is what we're seeing so far. And the health difference Awaiting command. that we could see was, let's just take a look at the uh, so about 10% uh, more health and about 10% more DPS than a regular Punisher. But it has plasma resists. So I would imagine once I get a full fleet of six Axis ships, Prepare. I'm going to be real tempted to go after Ancient Reapers without feeling like I need to spend, you know, 15 hours repairing. We're going to find that out too. So that's the video. Please uh, stomp all over that uh, subscribe button. I need more subscribers. I'm trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to make it interesting. And, uh, you know, hop all over that uh, like button. You need to like the videos. Like them all, man. This is a good video, isn't it? You get to see some action. You get to see what this game's like before you spend $600 on it. Because that's what I'm into so far. I spent about $600 on the game. I spend coins once in a while. Repair completed. I would imagine that my coin usage is going to go down as I get more Axis ships. You just saw I reduced my coin usage. If I were going to use coins, my coin usage would have been reduced from 28 minutes down to 22 minutes. Waiting for orders. And now it's a free repair because we've been talking all along. Repair completed. And now I can Complete. compare these two ships once again. 984 DPS, 15,814 health, 1920 shields, compared with a little less DPS on the Guardian, but an extra 6,000 health. And the shields went up by... Repair completed two and a half times. So, you know, Guardian is a much better Punisher. There is no getting around it. And for an extra two days on a build, had I built a Punisher rather than a Guardian, it would have been about nine days and some change rather than 11 days and some change. So, that's the way that goes. I'm going to go to my second account and give myself some help. We're, both, we're all in the same alliance, and you're going to see a little more help came up, because that was from me. 
So that's it, man. In the meantime, fly safe. We're going to do some more sector strike for another 10 hours. And then we're going to start alien mobilization. And we're going to be getting crafting materials. I think I'm going to be going for these guys right here, the 50,000 Intel, each of these. And I think I'm just going to rotate through them. I might take a look and see what I've got and what I need so I can fill it out. Um, Repair completed. These are for Xeno ships. I don't really see any for Axis ships. Repair completed. They're not going to make it that easy on us. Or I could do Demon Core. But I think I'm going to I'm going to keep doing uh, crafting materials for Xeno ships. So that's where we are. I'll have another video at the end of the Sector Strike if I can recap that and show you the rewards. Uh, what I'm playing for this time is a Domination Carrier, a Dominion Carrier. I call it Domination, Domina Dominatrix. So I'm going to want uh, this guy and this guy. And then I'm going to start filling out some of these blueprints. Uh, strike Shield. Both of these blister rounds. And then I think I'm going to go for Manifold Missile, and if there's any left, uh, Spectre Squadrons. And that's what I'm shooting for in this particular Sector Strike. So I'm going to get back to it, end the video, fly safe, and we'll catch you next time.